Google Discovery Ads just came out. It is a new campaign type and there's a lot of people wondering if uh, it is good for e-commerce, if it is good for direct sales, uh, if it is focused for sales, conversions, etc. And today I brought you a quick video about it, uh, basically going through why to run Discovery Ads and how to run them. I'm going to create the campaign in front of you for you to have an idea right so let's jump in straight into the slides without any further ado uh, google discovery ads for e-commerce why and how to run them for your store uh, first of all what are google discovery ads basically uh, it's a brand new campaign type that focuses on appearing in as many google feeds as possible so on youtube both on the home and the watch screen pages watch next pages so you know when you're watching a video and then there's the recommended videos then uh, the first one that appears is an ad it is an uh, a discovery ad uh, gmail as well so you know when you go to your social tab and then there's uh, the first two emails are ads those are google discovery ads and google discovery news feed so uh, the new android devices they come with a pre-installed google tab inside them as you can see here and uh, basically there's a lot of uh, news uh, articles and as you scroll through there's native ads that's what is nice about them they are native so they don't look like ads so your potential customer might like them and then uh, they may kind of don't even know it is an ad and that makes the ad performance really uh, you know go up so these are basically what Google Discovery ads are. They are more like graphical ads, kind of like Facebook and Google ads. Uh, now, why it's important to use them for your store? So, in my opinion, you must be running uh, Discovery ads for your store, and I listed the three main, main reasons, uh, I believe, uh, the why I believe you should run them. So number one, this is a campaign that focuses on generating sales. So if you're wondering, this campaign type is mainly for sales, not brand awareness, not uh, branding, not um, generating leads. This is a sales focused campaign. Google created this to be a conversions focused campaign type, as I said. So, and like, how do we know that? How do we know this campaign is meant to be a, a sales campaign? So basically inside uh, Google ads, you have the option to choose your bidding strategy. Basically how you want to show your ads, how you want to pay for the ads you show. And the only two options Google gave to us uh, when creating those ads uh, were maximize conversions so basically you say to google hey do everything spend everything you can to make as many sales as possible so you're kind of giving all the control to google and say make me revenue period or desired cpa so desired cost per acquisition so basically you're saying hey i sell something that costs 100 dollars and i want to sell it uh, spending $20 max or ideally so you add that to Google and Google will try to sell your products for $20 so that's a desired CPA so because Google only gives you those two uh, options when it comes to bidding you know Google wants you to sell you know Google optimizes that campaign to sell so that's why it's so 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 powerful and so prominent throughout the next years Number two, you can advertise on YouTube at scale without having to record one single video. So back in the day, uh, the kind of only way to advertise properly on YouTube was to create a whole video campaign. And that is a lot of trouble. You have to hire a, a videographer, a video maker, uh, an editor. And there's a lot of uh, aspects that go into it. And if the video doesn't perform well you have to create a whole new one and you know it's kind of a nightmare uh, and you kind of could do display ads but they were not very good they were a bit uh, you know ineffective now you can use uh, discovery ads to advertise properly on YouTube so as you can see you can add uh, carousels that's what they are called 
So basically you can add a lot of your products in uh, a bottom to shop now. So that, you know, YouTube is the second most used search platform on earth and you can advertise there the same way you do on Google shopping, for example. So it's very, very powerful. Next, very few brands are leveraging it. Hence, there's a blue ocean of potential customers to be acquired, 3 billion to be exact. So, uh, and that number is not out of my head. Google actually quoted it saying, you can use their discovery campaigns to help reach up to 3 billion customers across Google feeds to achieve your performance goals in Google ads. So, you know, basically you have the second, you have the biggest search engine on earth and uh, it is showing your products to your customers actively. So it's really, really powerful. And uh, I would say my less than 5% of the, the big e-commerce brands are using discovery uh, ads just because it is very new and it's going to be it's going to take one two years until all the brands find out about its power so you can advertise very cheaply there and have amazing results because the competition is very low so it's fantastic now let's create a discovery campaign live it's really simple let me go to my ads manager so it is not that complicated. All you gotta do is enter your Google Ads uh, manager here, go to new campaign, and just like you would create any other uh, standard campaign, all you gotta do is come here to uh, select uh, a goal, so sales, for example, and now you gotta choose which kind of campaign you want. So now instead of going search or display or shopping or those two here you go discovery then you click continue and i'm not going much into detail on how to create a google campaign because you probably already know if you are advertising on google but i'm going to walk you through the steps so you give your campaign a name i'm going to leave it as it is you choose your country so just uh, add here the locations you want your ad to reach so if you sell worldwide you can just select worldwide if you only sell to the us for example just select us languages add here the language your customers speak so english for example english for example uh bidding now that's what i was talking about so what do you want to focus on so it only gives you one option conversions so the campaign is optimized to give you sales nothing else so that's Google tested it and saw that this campaign works very well for sales. Therefore, they, they decided to make it focused on sales. So it's powerful. And here you can set a target cost per action. So for the example I, I gave, so if you have a product that costs 100 and you want to sell it for 20, you want to spend 20 to sell it, all you got to do is add 20 here, right? Or you can just leave it blank and maximize conversion. So Google will spend as much as possible and make you as much as possible. So uh, you can choose whatever suits you best. And here budget, choose how much you wanna spend each day. I would recommend starting with, let's say you sell something that costs around 100, you can start with 300 a day and then go, uh, you know, as results come, you can in increase the budget. Additional settings, you don't really need to change anything. Maybe the conversions here, but you probably already have everything set up. If you don't, there's many tutorials uh, explaining how you can track your conversions. I'm not going through this today because the video would be too big, but you can easily find it. Now, ad group, so where your ads will be, um, give it a name. Now, the audiences. So for discovery uh, ads, you can uh, target both retargeting, uh, you can use both retargeting or code audiences. So you can reach everyone who entered your website or you can uh, target people like on Facebook and Instagram based on their interest or their demographics or where they live or their age, if they're married or not. Uh, based on their interest, if they like to travel, if they like to, you know, you can do wherever you want really. And that's why this campaign is so huge. You can 
uh, you have access to 3 billion people. So you can target both uh, remarketing and custom audiences. So here you can add, uh, here you can add code audiences. Now the most important part, the ad itself, what's going to appear to your uh, customers. So all you gotta do is go new ad. If you have a bunch of images, go carousel. If you only have one, go to uh, standard ad. So all you gotta do is choose a URL. So where you want your customers to land once they click the button. Uh, images and logos. So basically you want to upload a lot of images you wanna advertise. So basically your products. Uh, and your logo, the logo of your, your brand, maybe the Instagram icon you use or the, the, your website icon. So really simple. Now headlines, uh, you want to say uh, it's the main message you wanna you come across. So maybe your brands, uh, you know, the, the something that describes your brand very well, something that describes the product you are advertising very well. Basically, you're talking about what you're selling. Description, uh, a little more space for you to talk about your product and your uh, what they're about, their features, this, that. Uh, business name, your business name. URL, you don't really need to, to use that. And here, call to action. Mo for most of, uh, most e-commerce owners here, this is going to be shop now but you can choose whatever suits you best so and then all you gotta do is uh add to add group and then create campaign and boom you have uh your campaign created your discovery campaign created and this campaign promises to be very 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 uh you know effective so Google recommends you leave it running for three weeks before you change anything. So the campaign have time to optimize and, uh, you know, basically uh, gather the data it needs to be effective. So launch it, wait a bit and just uh, wait until the money starts rolling in. So this campaign is really, really effective, very promising. And I think uh, every single e-commerce owner should be using it. Okay. So for today's video, it's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you want us to make your discovery campaigns, if you want some help with your Google ads, your Facebook ads, we are the only marketing agency that guarantees results. Not the only one, but one of the only ones in the world that guarantee results for our clients. So if you wanna know more about that, click the link below. There's a link to my website where you can know a little more about the guarantee and how we do it. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. As always, I will be happy to answer you with a long form answer. And yeah, I hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye.